Hi, Frank Hoos here. About 14 years ago, I started the website minilathe.com to talk about the 7 inch metalworking lathes like the one you see here. And uh, I decided it's about time to come into the video age, and I'm hoping to do a series of videos uh, covering a lot of the same materials they cover on my website, but in a video format. So I'll be uh, starting with a sort of a general background on the mini lays, uh, what they are, how they work, what you can do with them, and we'll branch off from there into a lot of detailed uh, tutorials about uh, different techniques and methods, accessories for the lathe and so forth. I'll also be talking about um, the vendors that sell the lathes in the U.S. and uh, pricing and comparing lathes if you're uh, interested in buying one, some of the things to think about in making your choice of which one to buy. So that's uh, kind of the background, but if you're a person who uh, likes to make things, if you have hobbies such as uh, model trains or planes or boats, if you like to make, uh, for example, scale model uh, historical boats, or you have uh, interest in radio controlled planes or cars or whatever, or you just like to uh, tinker in the shop and make things, perhaps you're an inventor, uh, or you just uh, have things that you need to repair around the house, maybe some vintage motorcycles or old cars that you work on. You need to make a part that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, the lathe can do all those things. And Just uh, some examples of the kinds of things you make. This is a pulley I made for a motor that I needed uh, to fit in a special application. And this is just a typical kind of uh, bushing or fitting I made for some application that I don't remember. But these are the types of things you can make on the mini lathe. And uh, so if you have a special uh, problem you're trying to solve and you run down to the hardware store, can't find anything close to what you need, uh, if you have a mini lathe, you can usually make what you need. And you can machine parts out of all kinds of metals, including brass, uh, stainless steel, bronze, uh, aluminum, uh, various uh, grades of steel, and uh, including a lot of industrial plastics which are good for applications where they need to be waterproof or electrically non-conducting or perhaps have some cushioning uh, qualities. So that opens up a lot of possibilities for you and uh, these machines are capable of working to tolerances of about a thousandth of an inch or even a little bit less which is uh, perhaps t uh, about two, two to three hundredths of a millimeter if you work in a metric system and uh, that's uh, actually pretty high precision stuff for a home shop uh, tool so uh, you can really do some fine quality work and uh, augment your telescopes or microscopes or whatever else you have with accessories you make yourself so let's get started we'll uh, break down all the di different components of the lathe and talk about the vendors and uh, all the things you need to know to get started in this hobby <laughs> 